Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, so today we're going to talk about solving some word problems with radicals. Remember, radicals are square roots, and we know how to solve their equations. We know that we have to use the process of squaring both sides. Uh, so today we're going to see a little bit of a more complicated equation, and we're going to see a word problem as well. Okay? So here are two rectangles. Okay? And we're told a comparison. We're told the difference in the lengths of the diagonals of the rectangles is two meters. Find the dimensions of the rectangles, right? So dimensions means we want to find uh, length and width, right? And what we know is that the lengths of the diagonals, so that's a diagonal, right? We know that the difference in those diagonals is two meters, okay? I'm actually going to do one of them uh, in a different color so that we can recognize which math belongs to what, okay? So uh, let's first do the diagonal um, QS, okay? So QS, um, by Pythagorean theorem, we can say that QS squared is PS squared plus PQ squared, right? That's the Pythagorean theorem, right? A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, okay? So that means that QS squared is then 1 plus X, which means that QS <clears throat> is then the square root of 1 plus X, right? Should actually be plus or minus, but we know that the minus 1 is negative and the length is positive. So that's QS, right? So that right there is root 1 plus X, okay? So in the same way, we're going to do BD. So BD squared is um, x squared, or sorry, root x squared, um, plus the square root of 2x plus 1 squared, right? So that means that BD squared is square and square root cancel out, and then square and square root cancel out. So that means that BD is actually the square root of x plus 2x, so 3x plus 1, okay? Now what we want to do is focus on the next statement. The difference in the lengths is 2 meters. So the difference in the lengths is 2 meters. So we're going to focus on that statement and make an equation that says um, that the difference is 2, right? So since the difference is 2, we're going to take the bigger one. 3x plus 1, we're going to subtract the smaller one, 1 plus x, and we're going to get an answer of 2, right? Now, what we used to do in the past is we used to square both sides, but we used to isolate the square root first, right? Well, this time we got two square roots, but what we're going to do is isolate one of them. And which one? It doesn't really matter, okay? So we're going to isolate this one just for fun, okay? And what we get is 2 plus the square root of 1 plus x, Okay, so when you've got two square roots and you can't simplify, isolate one of them, and we'll see what happens. Now what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides, okay, and we get um, so we get three x plus one, and here remember we have to do bracket times a bracket because it's squared, so two times two is four. 2 times square root plus the square root times 2 is 4 roots of 1 plus x. And then root 1 plus x times root plus 1, 1 plus x is just 1 plus x. Okay, so now let's simplify. Um, and we get 3x plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 plus x plus 4 roots of 1 plus x. Okay, now this equation is like what we've seen in the past. So now what we want to do is we want to isolate that square root and solve. Okay, so we want to take all this stuff over to the other side. So we get 3x plus 1 minus 5 minus x is 4 roots of 1 plus x. So we get 3x minus x is 2x. And we get 1 minus 5 is negative 4 and that's supposed to be equal to 4 roots of 1 plus x. Okay, um, 
So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to square both sides. Okay, so when we square this side, all right, so now we want to get rid of the square root, so we square both sides. When we square this side, we get 4x squared, 2x times negative 4 is minus 8, then negative 4 times 2 is minus 16x plus 16, and that's equal to 4 squared is 16, and then the square root goes away, so you get 1 plus x. Okay, so now we're going to simplify by saying we have 4x squared minus 16x plus 16 is equal to 16 plus 16x. We're going to take everything over to one side because we have six, 16 minus, negative 16 minus 16 and then plus 16 minus 16 is 0. All right. So now we're going to solve this by whatever means we can. If we have to use quadratic formula, we have to, but right now we can factor out a 4x and we'll be left with x minus 8 and we get our solutions. x is 0 and this one says x is 8. Okay. Well, 0 would mean that this length here is 0 and this length here is 0, so that doesn't make sense. So this is the only good one. All right, so x is 8. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to find the dimensions. All right. Well, remember that the small one is 1 and root x. So this one is 1 by root 8. And we want to simplify this a little bit, right? So the dimension is 1 by 2 roots of 2. All right. So that's the small one, and the big one is uh, root 2x plus 1 and root x. So let's remember what that means. So this is root x, and this is root 2x plus 1, right? So that makes it the square root of 8 by the square root of 17. Square root of 8, we know is 2 roots of 2. So those are the dimensions. This is the small one, and that's the bigger one. All right, so now get to your assigned homework, and I'll see you guys tomorrow finally.